Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Transformers Generation Select hubcap figure. So he is a brand new figure but obviously this is a couple of years old. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're then going to have a look at how he displays and indeed looks compared to some of the other figures that have used this mould. We can then of course see how he looks and compares to his Generation 1 self. And because, of course, he's a mini bot, we can see how he looks and displays with some of the other mini bots from the same toy lines. So we've got quite a bit to get through with this video today. So as I start to put these back, I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel, if they could hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help me out. And another thing, as I say, obviously this is brand new for me, but it's been out a couple of years. I need to massively, massively thank Duke Nukem, who is uh, one of the subscribers to this channel, um, because he did in fact send me this as a Christmas gift. And we didn't post it until after Christmas anyway, because we didn't want to get caught in the post. Uh, just in case it got lost um, but yes he very very kindly I did ask him to get it for me but he insisted on sending it me as a gift because uh, this was heavily reduced um, I think it was in Walmart to be honest so he, he managed to purchase it and then he sent it me so thank you ever so much for that so let's have a quick look at the box we've of course got the very old boring and bland generation select boxes where we've just got the like not the Autobot logo with it running there we've got the lovely War for Cybertron logo which to be honest I miss a little bit it seems a long time since obviously we've had that and I'm just gonna cut him straight open it appears that something might be a little bit loose inside but um, I'm not not too fussed if anybody else remembers he did have to unfortunately open the galvatron for me because the box came damaged but i'm imagining that this is okay and it's probably just yeah it seems to be that it's just the instructions and everything oh no it is oh, that's fine that's nothing that's just one of the little accessories uh they both come loose there we go off the shoulders nothing mega whatsoever but obviously because this is a couple of years old you can see we've got a huge plastic um casing holding him in uh, so what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to very quickly just off camera set him free from there and we're going to come back and do some first impressions okay then as you can see i've set him free from the packaging and what we're going to do then we're going to do some first impressions and then we're going to do some display ideas uh, because obviously i think this is the fifth use of this mold that i've actually got i'm just going to do it as straight off so first impressions into comparisons and then we'll come back for the final time later on with him in his alternate mode now i really like this mold anyway and i also really like the fact that this is hubcap because i always sort of refer to this guy as the forgotten um autobot in honesty but let's have a quick look at how he looks compared to his generation oneself and look at that for a homage it is absolutely perfect it really is so so good the, the head sculpt obviously is the thing that makes it um, and that is the difference the other big thing as well you can see how much you know with these deluxe uh, mini bots how much bigger they are than the original so they are a big big step up i'm just gonna in fact i'll keep him there in the background as long as he doesn't take away too much of the attention of the camera so of course the head sculpt is really really nice it's very detailed it's also on a ball mushroom so you've got full articulation all the way around up and down shoulders will do exactly the same out at the side bicep flexion you haven't got a oh we have we have got a wrist swivel but you can i knew that was going to come out <laughs> i could see it would as soon as i did it but it's not too detrimental because you can see it just slots straight back in this part can actually come off the back as well so we'll keep that off for now we've of course got waist swivel hip side front full articulation knee bend ankle tilt and ankle rock now ironically enough the original owner of this mold was cliff jumper and that's the only one that i'm missing but what i really like about this was when i brought this one it was the netflix bumblebee and it completely blew my mind because the transformation process on it is so so good i'm going to be showing you that in a separate video but also what i like about this is all of this or i say all of this there's not too much but the amount of things that you can do with these accessories so you've got of course one blaster two blaster oh, and this part here and then these two bits which could double up as skis and loads of other things the back of this as you say you can attach 
into there, no problem whatsoever. Or you can use it um, as a shield. And to be honest, so that's what I try and do with all of mine. Try and display them slightly differently. So I'll do that very quickly while these are all here. Uh, the only one I've not got to hand is Shattered Glass Gold Books. I've got the full gun there with the shield with the Netflix Bumblebee. Uh, with Bug Bite, I've gone with uh, the two guns. In fact, this wasn't like this. It's just because he's come off a shelf. I went with the two guns and then I attached this. Uh, to the side but for now I'm just going to show you the differences with all of these and with the blaster there and then with uh, the other bumblebee from the buzzworthy I went that way so you can see there's loads of different things that we can do with these and again this mold's been used quite a few times as I said I've not got the shattered glass one to hand and he won't fit on screen anyway but let's just show you how you can do some of that with these figures so I think well, again it depends on how you want to display it uh, I think the fact that you can do the double blasters looks brilliant and don't forget as well you've got all these five millimeter ports in the side so if you wanted to you can attach more and more things to him um, for example if you wanted to you could attach this to the side but there's, there's no point whatsoever it doesn't really do anything with regards to these little bits you can put these different ways into these uh, cutouts you can put them long ways like so or you can put them this way just to cover back over on themselves this is brand new so of course it's not going to fit in but i'll show you that a bit later on i like the two gun things to be honest i think with him because this is a slightly different color it just tends to work or if you wanted to obviously as we've seen you can double this up um, i'm not too sure how i'm going to be displaying him to be honest because i want to try and keep them as different as possible so in fact i'm going to go double cannon there with that i'm going to put shield on the side because you can do that as well in fact i've not done that with any of them yet you can pop the shield there which then also means uh oh that's from that one you can put another weapon in his hand if you wanted to or then we could take this off we could attach this to the back um this way around and then we could oh is it going to fit in let's have a look see if it's going to fit just about and then we can have it a little bit like some sort of rocket launcher as well but basically there's an abundance of ways that you can play around with this and display it right quickly then before we have a look at him in his alternate mode i'm just going to pop these i'm just going to keep the one gun in him for now because what i want to do is just bring in and this is what i loved about the siege um, I think they started the mini bots though in um, Earthrise. The fact, and I know obviously this one's Kingdom, but the fact that we've got the mini bots. Did maybe I can't even think now. I've said that. When did we start to get the mini? Oh, of course they did. Cliff Jumper was in Earthrise, but now we're actually getting deluxe mini bots. It is great, and of course they're taking this through into Legacy as well. So it's nice to have all of these updated. Right okay what we're going to do now then we're going to come back he's going to be in his alternate mode and we can again just see how we can use all of the accessories in that mode okay then we're back and as you can see he's already in his alternate mode quick apologies for no transformation process on this video it is a really satisfying and quite intricate transformation process but it is very time consuming so i've not put it in this video for that reason however if you do want to watch it you can of course watch it in the separate video now the alternate mode itself is it's just brilliant i've already said loads of superlatives about this mold i completely love it i love the fact that we've got obviously the colored in rims and the different colored tires lovely autobot logo there you know there's not much going on about it at all just little bits of decals on it but it's just the fact that it's super super clever to give you an idea if you've not seen this mold yet there are his fists and his arms folded up underneath now there's one thing i do want to show you because although i've got this brand new this is a couple of years old um, and I always like to point out things you need to be aware of if you have to purchase in well, older figures for yourself. And the thing with this is if you buy this second hand and it's missing all of these accessories, it's not too bad. It's not very detrimental. You can still display him in robot mode um, or in fact in car mode. But obviously if you want to display him in car mode and he's not got the back part, which is the shield as well, it's just going to look awful. So that's just something to be aware of. You're wondering what it looks like without the shield. It's it's not worth it. You can get away in robot mode, obviously, as you saw in the first part of the video. But with regards to this particular mode, you definitely, definitely do need, of course, um, this particular part. And it just fits over nice and snugly. 
Now, I didn't show you all of the combinations of this gun um, in the first part, again, because I wanted to show some of it now, and because there's just so many things that you can do with it. So what we're going to do, if we start with this, there's a couple of ways. So we can put this at the front, and then we can take these and put these narrowly in like so. So what I mean by narrow is you've got a short end and a long end, which you can see. So there's the narrow end. And then, of course, we can pop this behind like so. And then, of course, we can even put this at the back as well. And it depends, I suppose, which way we want to display it. And you can see that that fits on the roof. Oh, there we go. Like so. It'll fit on there. And again, there's even another way that you can do this. So what we can do now is we can take these out of here they were the short way so yeah as i said there's an abundance of ways that you can display this if we turn that to the side slightly and then if we take these the long way as they fit in there if they keep popping out apologies as you've seen it's a brand new toy so there's no wear and tear or playability factor in this just yet so you can then attach this in the back like that which again looks great but the best thing about this is even if you don't want to put anything on the roof at all i mean let's be honest you could if you wanted to you could just put the one on with some blast effects and it would still look okay but what you can do and this is mainly due to the cliff jumper mold and the fact that obviously you get attached to the skis you can do the same on here so the beauty of this is let's just say you want to pack the box away and you want to be able to display this in robot mode but you might fancy transforming him and displaying him in another way you haven't got to worry about putting these safe anywhere you can literally attach them all to the car you saw either or with the big gun on the top or in the way i'm going to show you now so this bit actually folds out into two parts like so these two little tabs are going to fit funnily enough in his fist at the back and then that cut out there well the whole rather is going to line up with this so this is a great great additional um i suppose it is an additional mode really because um it just changes it so so much if you're struggling to get it in you might just have to reposition the fists ever so slightly you saw that pop in that'll fit in there like so right now we can take what of course are going to be the skis and we can pop these you've got cutouts here and then this will fit, should do. Yep, just about. You could even put it the other way around if you wanted to. It doesn't look as good. Um, but yeah, apologies with this. I definitely, this is the way I like to do all my videos though. Just get them fresh out of the box. No really playing with them and just get them used to it. Right now, this is the bit which confuses lots of people. You've got these huge tabs here and you're not looking to try and get it to fit into these slots here. There's actually a teeny tiny slot there that's what we're looking to do so we're looking to line this up all right which way around are we going to have it you can have it either this way or indeed you can have it this way it reminds me more of a james bond car when it's like that to be fair you can't even really see it it just looks so so good so you can put them all on there or indeed if you wanted to of course you could switch them around and you could put these facing backwards covering the back and rear wheels just like so uh, there's one other thing i need to do very quickly in a second either way i'm sure you'll agree it's, just, it's great it's just it's exactly what you want a toy to be fully playable loads of different things that you can do with it exactly that i'm going to take all these bits off now though just for the last part because we needed to do a quick generation one comparison even though it's a different model of the car but it's just nice to see how they've changed over the years but as i said because of the amount of reviews i've got of this particular mold i'm going to pretty much bring this to a close now however once again if you want to see more videos on these molds and the different ways that you can i suppose combine the weapons display them etc then again check them out on this channel in the meantime there's nothing really more to say about this. It's a great figure. It's a great mould. Huge, huge thank you to Duke Nukem for getting this for me. And not only getting it for me, giving it me as a Christmas present. Huge, huge thank you for that. And everybody else who's watching this, thank you very much for watching and take care.